I can't argue with it, but I just don't, I don't agree, I guess. It's okay to be wrong. Okay. Uh, did you love this? Did you cheat code this? Did I cheat code this? Love heart cheat code. Yeah. Oh, I see what you did there. That that took me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I loved this album. This yeah. is really, really good. Yeah, I love this album too. This might be one of my favorites of the week. Yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely... God, what can I even say, dude? It's such a good week aside from the two not... albums. But either way, <laughs> um, I absolutely love this. And I think that my life would be consistently better if every... Every time I woke up in the morning, I just started playing this. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it just makes me feel good, dude. It's such a nice sounding album. It's so sweet, dude. Oh my god. It's so lovable. It's so annoying that there's like this much good at the same time because like our list is going to look fucked. Yeah. It's going to be like, <laughs> all right, well, one, two, and three are and four are tied. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, this is this is amazing. This could have been top of so many weeks that we've done too. Um, it's just, it's got such harsh competition this week. And I think that it is a terrible shame that it's gotten kind of overshadowed with how much came out this week. Um, because, yeah. Yeah, it, it's only got 385 ratings. It should have more. This isn't my album of the year, but it needs to be more people's album of the year because I feel like a lot of those people who would pick it just haven't heard it just because it was down the list of ways, you know? Yeah. It just sounds so sweet. The instrumentals are so whimsical. I love how the vocalist sounds. She's awesome. The lyrics are all, like, fucking strange and magical and crazy and stuff dude it's it's so cool and then you got tracks like cinnamon temple which is to salt you a little bit yeah it's just it's so good i'm not gonna lie cinnamon temple if you one of my favorite tracks it's really hard to talk about albums like this because just like mm. <laughs> <laughs> right the whole time you're listening to it it's just so pleasurable of an experience but walking away it's a little hard to describe i will throw out a little bit of a weird take i don't really like that those last two tracks are as abrasive as they are i feel like the title track would have been a perfect closing and then those two could have been really great singles i do look at them separately because they're so loud and noisy in comparison everything before that point is relaxing and like sweet and those ones sound kind of crazy and they're they're just really like aggressive that way you know yeah that's what i love about it though is that it wakes you up when you're on your way out of the album it's like all right that's fair yeah 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 and I like both of those songs, but... I appreciate them in the context of the album. I think that that's equally valid. It does make it a more dynamic experience, I suppose. Yeah. Do you think that the last one is my least favorite, though, anyways? Like, um, it's kind of got MIA vibes, which is cool. I don't know. Were you picking up on that at all? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. But, okay, so as, as much as I appreciate the last two tracks, Cinnamon Temple is my favorite, and White Rabbit was probably my least favorite, but it's still good. Really? Cinnamon Temple was your favorite across this whole thing? Yeah. That's crazy. I know. I can't argue with it, but I just don't... I don't agree, I guess? It's okay to be wrong. Okay. Yeah. I'm not fucking with you. Vice versa. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no reverse dude. card. Ooh. If I'm gonna pick a favorite, dude, like, I think, honestly, it's the, uh... It's the title track. I love that one so much. That's totally fair. They're yeah. all so, right, so close to each other. Yeah, and Make Friends is so sweet, though, too. Ah! I love the lyrics of that yeah, one in particular. It is. Oh, my God. It's so nice. BMO is beautiful. It's the best track. We can all agree on that. <laughs> <laughs> to an extent, I suppose. I love that it's here. Like, everything about this album is so weird, and the fact that you just have BMO from Adventure Time just in here. Like, the voice actor anyways, of course, but, you know. <laughs> so wonderfully weird. No, it's canon. <laughs> It's canon. I don't know. Did Hiatus Coyote ever do, like, Adult Swim things or something? Because I feel like they do kind of feel like part of that world. I don't know. But I do know that uh, Adventure Time was on Cartoon Network. Well, yeah, I know. That's what I was thinking is, like, how did these worlds intersect? Like, how did this happen? But at the same time, it kind of makes sense, you know? I can't find anything saying that they appeared on anything Adult Swim. Maybe they did soundtrack stuff for Adventure Time or something? I, I have no idea how this happened. <laughs> it would have popped but... up. Uh... <laughs> it's so crazy that it did and i love that it did and then long cat as the owner of a very long cat that is uh that is now the anthem hell yeah long cat gang <laughs> it's so cute such a nice sweet little song honestly like that ends up being my third favorite just because i'm like dude somebody made this a song it's it's short and it's simple but it's like oh i love it i love it it's so good also 
Fuck these critics. Oh, dude, yeah. What? Fuck all these 50s and 60s. What the hell? Yeah, that actually makes me a little angry. Again, and we keep kind of shitting on other people's opinions, which is not exactly what I want to do. I don't want to make that a thing. I love it. Um, and I think that attacking people over their opinions is a bullshit thing to do. But no, that's bullshit. But Slant but, Magazine. But. Hey guys, you're you're ops now. Slant Magazine is ops. Yeah, we can we can we can <laughs> bully other large p- people. Not that the person reviewing Charles. This album wasn't for you, but Slant Magazine, fuck you. <laughs> Honestly, this this quote here can't help but register as psychedelia for dummies. Brother, have fun with something, please. <sighs> Some people aren't going to get it, though. Some people aren't going to see the vision. Would you end up scoring this? Would you end up scoring this? Why do you need to know that? I gotta do math. Why do you need to know that? I gotta do math. I give it an 87. I gotta do math. 87. You go to what? 87? Yes. I give it an 89. 89. Fuck yeah, dude. We're at an 88. Very good album deserving of that score entirely as far as I'm concerned, dude. Hell yeah. That is awesome. 